Hey guys, welcome back to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. Design team member Kanika joined this side. And in this video, I shall be talking about how to use the Dress My Craft fine and sharp tip tweezers and as well the heat resistant tweezers. But before moving forward, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an update from us. So let's get started. So that's the first tweezer which Dress My Craft has. This is the fine and sharp tip tweezer. and this is 140 mm size and that's the second tweezer by dress my craft this is the heat resistant tweezer of the size 130 mm by 9 mm so let's first talk about the fine and sharp tip tweezer so you get this transparent cap on the top to cover the sharp ends of the tweezers and as the name says it is fine and sharp tip so you can see how fine the tips are and with this it is very helpful to pick up the small gems or beads easily and here you can see the branding of dress my craft and these tweezers have got a very nice matte finish look in the previous videos i have shared the tutorial on how you can create this mini tag book and now today we are going to embellish it with the help of sequins so today i am going to use these crystal clear sequins from dress my craft and here you can see how i will be using the tweezers so i am just applying glue using my tweezers so instead of picking those sequins with the hand it is very easy and quick to use your tweezers and simply add it with the help of tweezers and as well you want you in your fingers by adding like by having the glue on them as it's quite easy and as well you can pick up those tiny mini sequins as well using these sharp and fine tip tweezers just not this these tweezers can be used in several other ways as well so here i have the crochet lace border die and here you can see i have some remaining pieces left on my die and if you don't have this ultimate die cleaning tool no worries you can use your tweezers to poke out these extra remaining although using these tweezers will take a lot of more time so i would highly recommend you to get your hands on the ultimate die cleaning tool from dress my craft as within seconds it will clear out those excess papers remaining now let's move on to another usage of the fine tip tweezers so here i am adding 3d foam tape to my motif and on the back side i am going to add so what you can do is while you use these 3d foam tape what happens you have that excess backing so using the tweezers you can simply peel off that backing very easily like this So the fine tip tweezers is just amazing. Now let's move on to these tweezers. These are the heat resistant tweezers. And so you see on the top you have that white thing. This is made of ceramic so that when you are using it up to hold your product and heat set it, these won't get warm or hot and it will make sure that you don't burn your hands. So now talking about the usability of these tweezers they work exactly like how these fine and sharp tip tweezers do in addition they have their own qualities so let's start and create a project so here using the rectangular tack punch i have already trimmed off the paper and now using my mini trimmer i have trimmed off the paper as per my size and now using a liquid spray i am just adding it and now what i can do is by holding the card stock with the help of my tweezers i can simply heat set it as it's a heat resistant tweezer so the tweezers won't get heated up and as well my hands are safe and likewise you can see as the tip is of ceramic so it won't get hot and again i can heat set it as many times as i want so in this video i shall be showing up the tutorial of this full tag and i will be using different products and showing you that how these tweezers are very helpful so here now i am just misting water so that the color blends in the card stock very well and i am again heat setting it and 
like these tweezers are so much handy and so much useful so now for the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some textures so for that i'm using the dress my craft vintage script stencil and using a texture paste i'm simply adding it onto my tag base Now you can see this is how it looks after I applied the layer of texture paste and now I will again heat set it. So can you see how useful these heat resistant tweezers are to hold on to your project so that you can heat set them. And now for the next step here I have my silver heat embossing powder so I will be doing heat embossing using my Versamark ink and here I have my stamp and I am randomly stamping it and after I am done stamping it what I am going to do is I am going to keep my tag onto my funnel tray and I am going to spread over the embossing powder now with the help of tweezers you can simply hold and remove the excess embossing powder and then what you can do is if you want you need to add more embossing you can do that or else hold your tag with the help of heat resistant tweezers and simply heat set the embossing powder can you see how beautiful already the background of our tag looks like and credit goes to heat resistant tweezer which has made my work easy so now here i have this motif and this sentiment from the mini mo motif sheet and i have fussy cut it and now on the back side i am going to apply 3d foam tape and now with the help of sharp and fine tip tweezers i am going to remove the backing of the 3d foam tape and simply add it on the base like this and similarly i'll remove the backing of this sentiment and add it to my tag like this and now to complete the look of my tag here i have the off white satin ribbon twine from dress my craft which i'm going to add on the top Our tag is ready now it's time to embellish the tag so for embellishing here I'm using the crystal clear sequence again from dress my craft and using the heat resistant tweezer here you can see I have picked up these sequence so you can see that both these tweezers are just amazing and I just love working with these tweezers so grab your hands on these amazing tweezers from dress my craft and the link to buy these craft supplies is mentioned in description box so you can check that out see you soon until next time till then happy crafting